Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Denise. Hello, Marcos, Moisés, Esmeralda, Rebeca Rivas, Ileana. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine, and you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. And how was your day? Today is Friday. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Excellent. So are you happy because today is Friday? Are you going to rest tomorrow or are you going to work? Hey, tomorrow I have to work. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so anybody, are you going to work tomorrow? And say, Junel, I won't be able to participate in the class. Okay, Junel, excellent. I understand. Don't worry. Just be careful while driving. So, Moises, how are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, Moises. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Okay. So, welcome. Right. Today is our last class, right? Today we are going to finish this English course. So, um, did you finish the section number five in the final exam? Teníamos hasta hoy para resolver eso. Yes, I finished. I have my diploma. How do you say diploma? Diploma. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, what about the rest of you guys? Did you finish? Esmeralda Guadalupe, did you finish section five in the final exam? Hello, Claudia, welcome. How are you? Good morning, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's great, Claudia. Okay, Esmeralda, excellent. Congratulations then, guys. So let's start with this review. Tonight we're going to have a review of the English course. We're going to study some topics that we have already studied uh, during the course. So for you to remember. So let's start with this first big fact. Do you have any question about the final exam or the section number five? No questions, no problem. If not, let's start with this. So let's start with this. This is the goal for tonight. Review the topic studied during this English course. So double four questions. Be sure that you remember this. What's your name? That was the first thing we studied. What's your name? What is a good answer for this question? What's your name? Let's start with Danny. What's your name? Hello, my name is Dennis. Okay, excellent. So is they, my name is Danny. Oh, what is the other option to answer this question? What's your name? Using the verb to be. I'm Marco. Excellent. Thank you. I'm Marco. Thank you. Let's go with the next question here. What are your classmates like? What are your classmates like? What's the meaning of this question? What are your classmates like? ¿Cómo es el comportamiento de tus compañeros? Okay, excellent. That should be a translation. What are your classmates like? And what is a good answer for that question? You say they are good, they are funny. They are yeah. a good person. Okay, they are a good person. They are an interesting person. They are Any other answer? What are your classmates like? They are lovely. They are quiet. 
They are friendly. Oh, they are friendly. Excellent. They are friendly. Let's see the next one. How is it going? Any volunteer to answer this question? How is it going? Eliana, how is it going? Um, I don't remember. Um, I'm good. Okay, excellent. So it's another way to ask, uh, how are you? So how is it going? You say, I'm good. Very well. Very good. Next one, how are your classes? How are your classes, Josael? They are interesting. They are bored. They are great. How are your classes? Um, very good, teacher. Very good. Excellent. So who's your mother, Oscar? Who's your mother? Um... Uh, the number. Yes, you say my mother is. The question is, who's my your mother? mother? Quien es tu mamá? Quien es tu mamá? My mother, my mother is Maria. Okay, excellent. Very good answer. Thank you. Let's see, I have another one. What's your name again? Claudia, can you please answer this question? What's your name? My name is Claudia. Uh, where are you from? Is the name? Uh, I am from the uh, Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Now, yes, no question. This is an easy question. Those are easy questions. Are they your teacher? What is a good answer for this question? Are they your teacher? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And the negative option is? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Thank you. Are you free? What is a good answer? Are you free? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And the negative option? No, I not. Let's see, are you and Luis in the same English class? What is a good answer for this yes no question? Are you and Luis in the same English yes, class? They are. Mm, yes, they are. Is it correct? Are you? Are you and Luis in the same English class? Yes, we are. Ah, okay, excellent. We is the right personal pronouns. Yes, we are, or no, we aren't. Is your class in the morning? What is that good answer? Is your class in the morning? No, I don't. No, I don't. In the his class. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh. Okay, yes, it is. Y la opción negativa sería? No, it's not. No, it's not. Or no, it isn't. Thank you. Is she angry? Is she angry? Yes, she is. is. Yes, yeah. she is. Or no? She isn't. No, she isn't. Is your, fra is your father from El Salvador? Yes, he from. Mm. Is yes. it correct to answer? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, no, he is not. And the last one, are your classes boring? Yes, they are. <laughs> are your classes boring? <laughs> no, they aren't. Okay, yes, they are. Oh, no, they aren't. Very good. So, yes, no questions with the verb to be in short answers. So, you say, are you free? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Is she angry? No, she isn't. Or yes, she is. Are they your teachers? No, they aren't. Yes, they are. Is your father from El Salvador? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Are you and Luis in the same English class? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Are your classes boring? Yes, they are. 
No, they are. Is your class in the morning? The personal pronoun it. Yes, it is. No, it. W is for question with simple present. The first one, what do you do? What do you do? What is the meaning of this question? What do you do? ¿A qué te dedicas? ¿Qué trabajas? I work in... ¿Qué estás haciendo ahora? I work in a supermarket. Okay, what do you do? It means, ¿a qué te dedicas? ¿Qué haces? ¿A qué te dedicas? What do you do? You say, I'm a teacher, I'm a doctor, I'm a student, I'm a cashier, I'm a waiter, I'm an architect, I'm a lawyer. So what do you do? ¿A qué te dedicas? In the second one, how do you like your job, your work? How do you like your work? How do you like your work? Mm, ¿Qué tanto te gusta tu trabajo? Nothing. Then you say, I really like it. I love it. I hate it. I, I detest it. it. Oh, Clay, you say, I love it. David. Like Oscar, can you please repeat? I really like it. Okay, excellent. I really like it. David, how do you like your work? I like it a lot. Okay, excellent. Let's go with the next one. Where do you work? Look at this other question. Where do you work? What's the meaning of this question? Where do you work? Where do you work? My house. Okay, I work in my house. Okay. I work in the beach. Okay, great. So, donde trabajas? Where do you work? I work in a restaurant. Okay, great answer. Let's see next. What does your father do? He is an engineer. Perfect answer. Any other answer? What does your father do? Anybody? What does your father do? Then I have what time do you go to work? I go to work, I go to work at seven o'clock in the morning. Great answer, thank you. What time do you go to work? And how do you get to work? I get to work at 7.30. Okay. Uh, how do you get to work? It means, ¿qué medio de transporte utiliza para ir al trabajo? I go to work by leaving my work. Okay. First David and then then David, say. David, I, go to you... work, I go to work by bus. Okay, excellent. Now, Denny? I live in my work. Really? Yeah. Do you work from home? No, I am working the beach. I have a little restaurant. Oh, excellent. What does your mother do is the next question. What does your mother do? My mother is a nursing. My mother is a nurse. Thank you. Yes, no question with simple present. This is easy. Do you go to the gym? Yes, I'm going at 5 a.m. Okay. Say, yes, I do. I go to the gym at 5 a.m. Second question, do your parents work? Do your parents work? Yes, they do. Okay, excellent. Yes, they do. Thank you. And does your husband or wife cook? Yes, I wife cook. 
Okay, yes, my wife cooks. Or, yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Buena respuesta, Oscar. That's excellent. Thank you. Do your family go to bed late? What is the answer for this question? Do your family go to bed late? Yes, they do. Okay, thank you. Yes, they do. Now they don't. Does your brother study English? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. That is a good answer. Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. And do you like pupusas? I really love it, pupusas. Okay, excellent. Say yes, I love I like pupusas. Ah, uh, yes, I, I like, like pupusas. Yes, I like okay. pupusas. Okay. Like and the short answer is Do you like pupusas? Then you say yes, I Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. And the last one is Do you and your family wake up early? Yes, I wake up early every day. Okay, thank you. That is the answer for the question, do you wake up early? But now it says, do you and your family wake up early? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Excellent. I can see that you remember the answers very well. Thank you so much. Then let's go with this part, expression of time. And we study this, right? Around, early, late, until, before, and after. Do you remember the meaning? We have it here. Around the mean? Cerca de, early, temprano, late, tarde, until, hasta, before, antes, and after, después. And I have these examples. Any volunteer to read these examples? One. Just one. Let's practice tonight is our last class. David, thank you so much, David. I go to work around five. I leave my house early. I arrive home late. I work until midnight. I play before going to sleep. I am tired after work. Okay, excellent. Uh, what time do you have dinner? What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at 8 p.m. At 8 p.m., okay. Eh, let's see. Si quisiera decir antes de, antes de que cena, utilizando before. I have dinner before 8 p.m. Okay, excellent, before 8 p.m. And, and that is early or late? It's late. <laughs> okay. ¿Cuál es la hora promedio de la cena en El Salvador? It should be at 6 p.m. 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock. 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock. Okay. So have dinner at 8 o'clock. It's late. Right? So I have dinner late. Great. Do you go to bed early? Do you go to bed early? No, I don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. Cool. Then we use this word, right? Utilizamos estas expresiones del tiempo, estos adjetivos, para decir, ¿verdad? Um, around, alrededor de qué horas, o más o menos, para decir, más o menos a las seis, más o menos a las cinco, uh, usted realiza una actividad. Uh, por ejemplo, I do homework around 4 o'clock. No exactamente a las 4, ¿verdad? Pero por ahí, por las 3 y media, 4 y media, so we use around eh, to say that early para decir que hacemos algo muy temprano. I leave my house early. I take a shower early. I have the, eh, breakfast early. Late. ¿Y early sería como antes de las 6 o entre las 6 y 9 de la mañana? No, early es temprano, temprano, es una actividad Entre temprano. Entre 4 y 6 de la mañana. Puede ser a cualquier hora, por ejemplo, I have dinner around, um, let's see, 4, 4 p.m. 
that early. So you say, I have dinner early. Tengo la cena temprano. Comer la cena como a ah, las cuatro okay. sería temprano. Okay. Early. Sí, sí. Entonces no hay como una hora específica. Sino que hace algo antes del tiempo normal, digamos. Ok. En late, que hace algo muy tarde. Say, I arrive to work late. I arrive home late. I study late. I go to bed late. I watch TV late. And until, hasta, I work until midnight. I work until 8 p.m. Yo trabajo hasta. Means hasta. And before, I play before going to sleep. I play video games before going to sleep. I wash my face before going to sleep. Or I brush my teeth before going to sleep. I watch TV before. O algo, algo que haga antes de otra actividad. You say before, antes de. I wash my hands before having a, every meal. Right? And after, después. And time after work. Después. Do you have any questions about this? Questions? Okay, let, let's have a review of this one. Preposition of time. Do you remember the use of at, on, in, and part of day? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, let's have a review of this. We are going to use at for a specific time and also for holiday period. And I have here these three examples. Who wants to read them? Come on, I know that today is Friday, but help me, help me to read this. Uh, let's see, I have David. Thank you, David. Uh, only for that? Yes, please. Okay. A specific time. I wake up at seven o'clock. She returned home at midnight. Everyone seems happy at Christmas. Okay, thank you. So, for a specific time, right? Algo que hacemos en una hora específica. I wake up at 7 o'clock. I take a shower at 30. I go to work at 7 a.m. So, hora específica. And also, for the expression at midnight, and at noon, and at midday. Para decir al mediodía, at noon, at midday, and at midnight. And for holiday periods, right? Everyone seems happy at Christmas. Everyone has vacation on Easter week. At Easter week, sorry. On. When we're going to use on? Days of the week. A specific date and date. Vamos a utilizar on para decir en qué día de la semana hacemos una actividad. En un día específico. Por ejemplo, si usted dice la fecha, ¿verdad? I return to my country on the 27. Then you say October 27. In a day, we get together on Christmas Day. El día de Navidad. So, any volunteer to read these three examples, please? Dennis, can you help me, please? Yes, teacher. What example? On. The example okay. of the preposition now. We will visit you on Wednesday. I return to my country on, on the 27th. We get, we get together on Christmas Day. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And finally, we have Ian. In. We are going to use in in months, years, season, length of time, and centuries. So it has many uses, right? Eh, antes de los meses, antes de años, antes de las temporadas, antes de periodos de tiempo, y antes de los centuries, siglos. So my birthday is in January, the first example. Antes de un mes, in February, in March, so years. In 1980, in 1992, in 2002, 
So, antes de un año siempre vamos a utilizar in. And also season in summer, in spring, in fall, in winter. Y periodo de tiempo. It will be ready in 20 minutes. I will be ready in five minutes. In centuries, life was different in the 15th century. Then you say the television was invented in the 19th century. And something like that. Any volunteer to read this example? In example. Or, thank you, Ileana. Uh, my birthday is in January. America was discovered in 1492. I always go to bed in summer. I know <laughs> I always go to the beach in summer. It will be ready in 20 minutes. Life was different in the 15th century. Thank you so much. And finally, we have parts of the day. We are going to use in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. But we have a next section at night. Para la noche, para decir en la noche, we need to use at, at night. And also look at this, on plus day plus part of the day. Si decimos en la mañana, so usamos in. Ahora si decimos la mañana del viernes, tenemos que utilizar on. Look at this example. We will have a party on Friday night. Or fly leaves on Monday morning. Si el tiempo de, si la parte del día va acompañada del de día exacto, tenemos que utilizar on, on Monday morning, on Monday afternoon, on Monday evening, on Monday night. Si va solo el periodo del día, entonces utilizamos in. I go to the gym in the morning. I often feel tired in the afternoon. I study English in the evening. I like to read in bed at night. And we will have a party on Friday night or fly a leaf on Monday morning. Do you have any question? Questions? And let's help me to solve these exercises. Let's complete them using at, in, or on. Let's start with this. The movie starts. What is the right proposition of time to complete this sentence? At. Yes, it is a specific time, so we need to use at. Thank you. The second one, my birthday is? In January. And then we have a month. Before month, we need to use the preposition in. I have English class. In the morning. In um, the period of the day we need in. in in the morning I go to the gym on the day of the week on Monday and I need to use on number five it rains a lot in winter in in, in. winter it's a season before season I need to use in we usually have lunch at at At, okay, and come and see us at Christmas Day, in Christmas Day, on, on. Christmas Day. On. Oh. On, right. El día de Navidad, on Christmas Day. One volunteer to read one, two, and three, please. Thank you, Denise. Okay, the movie starts at 7 p.m. My birthday is in January. Uh, third, I have English class in the morning. Thank you. Four, five, six, and seven. Any volunteer? Thank you, David. I go to the gym on Monday. It rains a lot in winter. We usually have lunch at 1 p.m. 
come and see us on Christmas Day. Okay, excellent. So do you have any question about how to use preposition of time? Not teacher. Okay. Great. Let's continue then. Thank you. And let's go with the next topic. Okay, we practice this question, right? What do you do? Where do you work? Or where do you study? How do you like your work? And also we talk about preference, right? So you are going to tell me five things you like, five things you dislike. And also we talk about daily routine. What time do you wake up? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you go to work? So you can answer this question using preposition of time. So you say, I wake up early. Oh, what time do you wake up? I wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. What time do you have breakfast? I had breakfast at eight or I had breakfast late at 10. What time do you go to work? I go to work at using those propositions. So, any volunteer to answer the first three questions? What do you do? Where do you work? And how do you like your work? Any volunteer? If not, I'm going to pick somebody here. One, two, three. No volunteers? Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Work. Um, I work in a supermarket and I study. No, where I, I study at the University of El Salvador and my job, I like it very much. Okay, excellent. Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to answer these three questions? What do you do? Where do you work? Or where do you study? How do you like your work? If I volunteer, I want to pick somebody. David, can you choose one of your classmates, please? Okay. Um, I choose Esmeralda Guadalupe. Okay, Esmeralda. Tell me, Esmeralda, cinco cosas que le gusten. Five things you like. Um, sleep. Um, listen to music. Um, estudiar, study. And working. Okay, excellent. So you say, I like sleeping. I love studying. I really like uh, what? Working. Great. So let's go with. Um, and I like, can you choose one of your classmates? I have Moises, Ileana, Vanessa, Jessica, David, Josael, Oscar, Claudia, Rebecca. ¿A quién escoge Esmeralda? Mm, Vanessa Hernández. Vanessa Hernández, ok. Vanessa, can you please tell me five things that you don't like or you dislike? Ok. I don't like or I like. Uh, things that you don't like. Don't like. I don't like chocolate. I don't like... Mm, reggaeton. I don't like um, TV. I don't like um, how do you say ayote in English? The same ayote. Ahí hay uno que se parece pumpkin, pero es, I guess it's another thing. Calabaza. Let's say ayote. You don't like ayote in miel? I don't like ayote. And pupusas? No. 
No really. Okay. No really. No. <laughs> okay, le falta una. You say chocolate, <laughs> reggaeton, eh, watching TV, and ayote. What is me then? And the like. Um, I I don't like is uh, um, listen to music. <laughs> okay, I don't like listening to music. Great. So, ¿cuáles eran algo otros verbos que podemos utilizar para decir que nos gusta algo o algunas expresiones? I love. I am crazy about. I adore him. I don't mind. Okay, excellent. So you say, I love. I really like. I'm crazy about. I enjoy. And I adore. Y expresiones para decir cosas que no me gustan. ¿Cuáles eran? I love him, so I can stand. I love. Mm, I love para decir que me, no me gusta. Como desagrada, creo. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah, yeah, I remember that there. Okay. Very good. And also hate. We can use hate to say things that we don't like. So don't forget about those expressions, right? En, en lugar de usar solo el verbo like, tenemos esas opciones. I love, I adore, and also I dislike, I hate, I can't stand, I loathe. Okay, so use, use those expressions. And finally, let's go with daily routine. Any volunteer who wants to talk about his or her daily routine? What do you do in the morning? Nobody? Uh, I wake up at 5 a.m. and I have breakfast at 6 p.m. Um, I... I go to work at seven o'clock. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Lenny. Any other volunteer? Just one more. Daily routine. Thank you, Dennis. Again, oh, sorry, Dennis. You have already participated. Okay. Um, I wake up at 4 a.m. and I have my breakfast at 6 a.m. and I am going to my work at 80 a.m. Okay, thank you. Excellent sentences. Let's continue then. Let's go with the next topic. Demonstrative pronouns. Do you remember this topic? These, that, these, and those. So we're going to use this when we are talking about singular object and near the speaker. And this, when we're talking about plural objects farther from the speaker, that singular object and near the speaker, those, oh, sorry, that, there is a mistake here. So it's far, far through the speaker. And that, el objeto tiene que estar lejos. And those plural objects farther from the speaker. So then we use this and this when the object is cerca. So let's take a look at this picture here. Singular, this is an orange. So it means la naranja está cerca, that I can touch it. If that is an orange, so I can't touch the orange, that is part. And then I have, these are oranges, plural, and those are oranges. Plural, right? And these están cerca de mí, and those están lejos. So you need to use the correct form of the verb for singular or plural. So don't forget about what is and what are these. For example, what is this? What is that? What are these? And what are those? And don't forget these two. The most of the pronouns refer to objects and animals, which are which are the subject of the sentence. So generally we use the most of the pronouns when we are referring to objects and animals. Do you have any question about the most of the pronouns? 
equations. If you don't have any equations, no equations. Then let's solve this exercise. Can you tell me what is the correct word to complete the sentences? Read the sentences and take a look at the picture and then tell me what is the right demonstrative pronoun. And number one, I like this or this lamp. This is the right answer. And the second one. I you like those blue. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like these or these yellow chairs. Oh yes, yeah. yes. What is the right answer there? The plural I don't or like, the singular? I don't like these yellow chairs. Is the first. It this one? Yes. Yes. Okay. The third one. Do you like these or those blue chairs? Okay. Do you like those blue chair, chairs? Okay. Those. They are hard. Next, number four, I like that or I like those green lamps? That. That. Okay, that is singular, so those is for plural. Number five, I like these or these blue jeans? These or this blue jeans? This. Plural or singular? Number five, is it plural or singular in number five? It's plural. It's plural, you are right. And the last one, do you like that or do you like this red cap? This. This. This red cap. Ok, do you like this red cap? La tiene en las manos ahí el señor. Ok, excellent. Let's see the next. Let's click on. Ok, can you complete this small conversation using this, that, these, or those? Do you like these yellow shoes? No, I don't like. No, I don't. I like. That, 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 what is it? The number two, these, that, these, or those. So, take a look at the picture. Look at the picture, and you can answer it. Can you say those? Okay. Those, yes. Those, and look at over there, the expression over there. Those. Look at those too. And finally, do you like that? Ok, los sombreros están bastante lejos de ellos. And then, it's singular, we need to use that. Do you like these yellow shoes? No, I don't. I like those green shoes. Look at those hats over there. Do you like that red hat? Yes, I do. Do you have any question? Yes, any question. question. No question about the most of the pronouns. Great. Then, in this... In this unit, we also study this. Which one do you prefer? Or which one do you prefer? Yes, let me read those notes. Here we go. Yes, second. Which one do you prefer? So, from these things, which one do you prefer? 
Do you remember the answer for that question? I I prefer the blue one. Okay, I prefer the blue one. And which color do you prefer? Black, orange, or gray? I prefer black one. The black one? Yes. Okay, which one do you prefer in the next picture? Which half do you prefer? The brown, the black, the yellow, or the white? I prefer the the brown one. It's a person the brown one. And this one, which raincoat do you prefer? I prefer the rest. I prefer the gold one. Okay. And this one, which one do you prefer? I prefer the gray one. Okay, I prefer the gray one. So we say the color in one. So you say, I prefer the red one, I prefer the blue one. And about this, first, which one do you prefer? The pink or the green? I prefer the pink. The pink one. Okay. The pink one. Es como siempre las letras que echamos. Okay. We are learning. Don't worry about that. And which one do you prefer? Healthy or unhealthy? I prefer healthy one. The healthy one. Okay. Okay, then we have these quantifiers. So quantifier, we have all, nearly all, most, many, a lot, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. When are we going to use quantifier? Do you remember that? Cuando necesitamos utilizar estos quantifiers? ¿En qué momento necesitamos utilizar estos adjetivos? All, nearly all. Most, many, a lot, some, no many, a few, and few, or no one. We need to use this quantifier when we don't know the exact quantity, right? Cuando no tenemos la cantidad exacta, entonces necesitamos utilizar estos quantifiers. Let's see, for example, all students, some families, Few couples, many children, most women, nearly all girls, and no men. So let's see. En promedio, ¿cuántos estudiantes 